everybody, and welcome to Twist Gaming. We are here at Gen Con 2018 in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we are here in a very super secret room. At Steve Jackson Games, I have my very good friend Hunter here with us. And Hunter, you're going to tell me about all the ga look. This box, yes, this tower is huge. The tower of games. We got the tower of power over here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go small, go big. All so, right. Uh, we got first up. We got uh, the Munch Collectible Park. Yeah, collectible card game. Yes. Uh, we actually did it on y'all stream a yeah. little while back. We got to play it. So this is kind of our upcoming new hot stuff that's coming out. Uh, Fast and Furious next big set. That's actually this month, uh, August 20th, I believe, is the street date on that one. Okay. Uh, in or around there and then right after that we got the fat pack which is actually going to have uh for people that are just now getting into it especially with all the people demoing at gen con things like that we it comes with uh, three base set uh core set packs one desolation of blog which was our last set which we showed off and then yeah. one fashion Fury. so you get like a little starter to your collection plus a couple promos a nice way to kind of build your collection for a low price very cool and what's then, the price point on that uh, i believe that was gonna be 1995 okay five. Yeah. and then you get a couple pers uh, a couple boosters there so yeah Totally good price on that. Uh, this one is Grave Danger. This is where I'm really excited about this one. This is our fourth set this year, be November, and it's going to be undead themed. So like zombies, vampires, all, all sorts of fun stuff in that one. Very I'm cool. a big fan of that stuff. That horror themes thing. So it's right up your alley. Yeah, exactly. It's cool because we the first couple sets, it's like here's the here's the the template. Here's what everyone does. Now we can focus on cool themes yeah, like yeah, yeah. loot and armor and weapons and fun stuff. And this one's like undead, so we get to kind of go a little small with it. It's really nice. Very cool. So yeah. We got our release for September here, Blob Lobber. Yes. Blob gobs of blobs. The rules are, wow. the rules are out as well. It's just a bunch of rhyming stuff in there. But <laughs> Blob Lobber is actually really cool. This is a, a new little dexterity game for us. Okay. Uh, I've actually got the cards here. I can actually show you how to play right now. Really? That's the best thing about this game. Okay. So you have aliens. Yeah. Everyone has a, a, an alien queen, if I can locate them here. Uh, there's queens. There's one. Okay. So you, you spread the queens out uh, yeah. generally like that. It's about a space apart there, I'd say. Okay. And each of these uh, tiles has uh, one side has aliens and the other side has explosions on it. Okay. And what you're trying to do, if I can get this on camera, I will be good. So it's a dexterity game where you're trying to flip cards and you're trying to hit explosion side up on aliens. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hunter, sure. round of applause. I appreciate it. I'm getting better at this. The designer came by our booth the first time we saw his game, and I saw him do that. I'm like, I'm doing, I'm stealing that trick from now on. <laughs> and I've done it on camera. I've hit it twice. That's so good. So you hit the alien. You If you hit him, explosion shot up, bam. You score that. You're trying to not hit your color and get other people's colors. Okay, so you've got variables. the purple and the white, and you were going to aim and right for the green. Yeah, exactly. So awesome. And you'd score for that. If I Say if I was green, the green player for yeah. some reason, I'd get negative for that, but then positive for the other two. And if it lands alien side up, it's just more targets for more people to hit. Oh, you that's just go cute. Back. It's super cute. It's super fast. Uh, it'll be a really, really uh, cute, kick. cute little game. Fun little stocking stuff. It's only seven bucks. It's oh. just yeah. It's it's going right next to our little uh, lineup of like Simon's Cat and Happy, Happy Kitty, Super Kitty, Bug Slap. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're really excited about that one, and that'll be out uh, September, so just just around the corner on that one. All right. So another September release for us, uh, Illuminati Second Edition. Yeah. Uh, I think we talked about this one at Origins. Yeah. I finally got a copy in my hands. It's very nice. It's uh, uh, this is all Lard Souza art. It's super cool. I love the campy style he's got going on there, uh, and he just redid all the art. It's enough for us to call it Second Edition. We've got all new art from Lynn, or excuse me, Lar, and. Uh, yeah, we got and this is the one that you're talking about. Like the game has been out, and they're not. You're not really changing a lot of the yes. mechanics or anything at all. You're just really updating um, a lot of the stuff, and it because some of the stuff is is just Cold War era. Yeah, comedy, which is which hey, may become more relevant very quickly. Uh, but I'm but just for saying. now we're, we're we're trying to. Oh, those are actually the promos. Oh, my. oh no, the secret promos. Oh, that's fine. You show them. That that's actually a promo we've had at the con here. Uh, Lar was kind enough for to sign a few of them for us. So we'll actually oh, that's cool. we'll probably have those at other conventions as well. And uh, he, he was one of our guests of honor at the Munchkin Tavern. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 about Web of Power. You got the Cold War references a little bit. We didn't cut them all out, but we pruned them down. A little more Age of Internet. You get Flat Earthers and other con modern conspiracies. Modern conspiracies. Uh, but yeah, this was out in September. We're really excited about that. And hopefully now with the new Very edition, cool. new way for people to get into it, we can maybe maybe bring some of the expansion stuff back. People have been asking for it for a while. So that would be the way to do it. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Very cool. For sure. Uh, so 
next three are kind of big ones for us. Yeah. Uh, they're all pretty big, but Fantasy Trips our current Kickstarter at the moment, but it's open to get into retail as well. So what is what is what what is Fantasy Trip Legacy Edition? So the the Legacy Edition is kind of everything all in one. If you want if you want to play Fantasy Trip and you you've played it before, or if you want to get into it and you want to have more than just the basic experience, mm -hmm. this is the way to do it. It's going to have. Uh, Melee and Wizard, which are kind of the core the core experiences. You build right. a character in five minutes, play in 15, and you're good to go. Like right. that's, It's a very fast, very fun little system. This adds more adventures, uh, more uh, more things to do with that. You, you you have like the basic ability to just go in there and fight, but you can now build a campaign around it. There's a, a lot of the classic content that Steve had originally. So the big story behind it, obviously, is that... We were talking about this at Origins, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, yeah. You just couldn't get the rights back. But in that same time, so many people had... Uh, moved on to other projects, but there's all that old content because for a while it was very popular. Right. Uh, magazine articles written for it that had uh, different different adventures, all sorts of small nooks and crannies that were things were released that we're now we're now able to go and track that stuff down That's cool. and get that stuff back from and, and, and consolidate it all. And exactly, and consolidate it all. And that's kind of what we're trying to do with this. So it's like getting all this stuff together in one place, making it easier to find so it's not, I'm buying a, this retro thing from one one vendor on eBay somewhere. Right. Uh, we're doing. We're trying to as hard as possible to get all that stuff back. Maybe not 100% of everything will be possible, but it's really cool. We're actually reaching out to a lot of the original authors that did this stuff. It's like, we're like, oh, we've got fan strip, we want to do this, and they're, they're all in. They're getting they're, ah, they're excited about bringing stuff back. So, that's like, cool. stuff like Tolling Cars Lair, another adventure. You'll have Death Test and Death Test 2 that's been added. The Kickstarter's allowed us to do, to add a lot of things to the box that, uh, maybe we wouldn't have been able to do before. So a right. uh, lot of cool stuff's coming with this. How uh, we'll, long is the Kickstarter going for? Uh, we got about uh, two and a half weeks left right now. Okay. It's, it's, and it actually funded really fast. We're really excited about it. I think it funded in under an hour. We're at about 170000 now. So That's so yeah. cool. It's it's And Steve's having an absolute blast with it. So sure. uh, if you check out our forums for that as well, it's... Uh, forums.sjgames.com and we he has a whole forum dedicated to the fantasy trip where he's taking feedback and all sorts of stuff doing play testy type stuff it's really great uh, he's having an absolute blast with it very cool yes now we got our munchkin stuff got to show off munchkin of course but we got two new munchkin uh, okay. announcements one's one's a little bit sooner one's a little bit later so you guys made one just for matt crazy cooks yes crazy cooks so yeah we, i mean food we have food puns. We've thrown them in there occasionally, but this is like we've, we've had enough in the stockpile to make a game out of it. And now with all the cooking Instagrammers, cooking YouTubers, cooking shows, felt like it was a good time to show it off. Uh, so this is actually going to be a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Uh, okay. It's on pre-order now, but should be available within a few days. We're like within a week here. Okay. And it's uh, in addition to being just a brand new version of Munchkin, it's got a couple new twists to the mechanics. Okay. Uh, so if you're a fan of something like Munchkin Cthulhu or Munchkin Apocalypse, where it has a few alternate ways of playing and winning, yeah. uh, this is very, very similar to that. So you've got a cool deluxe board, very colorful. It's like oh, a wow. menu at a restaurant. Uh, you've got a lot of new monsters, and actually a lot of them are highlighted on the on the board itself there. Got some new uh, pawn pieces, standees, like the awful waffles. That's one of my favorite ones. Oh, yeah, the serial killer. He's a particular captain. Uh, we will not get that. He's, he's legally distinct from other captains. Legal. The yeah. ice cream cone. Yeah, it's tons of fun stuff. But in addition to all that, you've got these um, uh, ingredient tokens. And these ingredients are gained through different cards, beating monsters, things like that. And if you get a set of, each, uh, of four, of one of each, of okay. ingredient tokens, you can actually cash that in and just gain a level. And the cool thing about it is you can gain a winning level doing that, which is something we rarely allow to happen. It's usually you have to beat a monster to win the game. Okay. This lets you do it in an alternative in, yeah, way. Yeah, alternate way. Okay. So it can, can speed up gameplay, gives you alternate things to go for, gives you just different stuff you can do with it. And you also get uh, you get the classic fantasy rolls. So if you like, if you have original Munchkin and want to mix it in, or like the original Munchkin expansions and want to mix it in. Same same races. It's uh, like elf, dwarf, stuff like that. But we've added instead of classes, it's chef types. So your barbecue boss, or the short order cook, or the French chef, or things like that. It's so really fun. Wonderful. So yeah, and that will be out really soon. Very cool. And you said pre-order now, and this is going to be a Barnes and Noble's exclusive. Barnes and Noble. So yeah, you can pre-order on their website, or it'll be in store as well. As well. Very cool. Yep. And Last uh, but definitely not least. Yes. So this is our big, 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 big announcement. On announcement. We've been keeping it tight. I can't believe I didn't spill the beans. Uh, it's Munchkin Warhammer 40,000. So this is a long time coming with us in Games Workshop. It's We're all big fans of Warhammer, the Warhammer universe in the office. A lot of us grew up with the John Kavalik. He's talked it multiple times. When he, we revealed it, he talked about how he uh, was one of his first game stores was a Games Workshop back in way back in the day. And 
he's been playing Warhammer 40,000 for years. Oh, that's and, cool. Yeah, he, so he so he gets to do all the art for this now. He's, the company that he's played games for his whole life is saying, hey, come make fun of us, please. Yeah. Can you go do that? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, well, you, you're going to pay us to make, yeah, we, we'll yeah, do that. Yeah, I'll in. We'll make fun of you and make money off of that, yes. But it takes a really good fan to understand how to appropriately make fun of a good game. Exactly, and, and Andrew uh, Hackard's been doing a great job. He's developing this one, working okay. with people. Uh, he's got all the, they sent us all the codices, codexes, codices for all the armies, and he's just got this stack of reference material on his desk. Uh, it's going to be a blast. There's going to be chaos monsters you can fight that kind of gang up on you. Uh, and there's a lot of content in, in the Warhammer universe, so maybe we'll see expansions, who knows. Uh, and depending on this, how, how this is, Games Workshop has other stuff we can work with, so we're really excited about this. This is going to be spring 2019. Okay. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be big. It's, it's a re really exciting license. Hunter, these are all some really cool, new, exciting games. Thank you so much for taking the time to show them off to us. I really appreciate it. We're really excited about the things that are going on. It's Steve Jackson. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.